Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about three-way versus single pole light switches. I'll specifically be going over what's the difference between the two. As you can see right here, I have these two light switches, okay? They look basically the same from the front, but the moment that you turn them to the side, you'll notice that there is a difference, a significant difference. Over here on the right, what I have is what is referred to as a single pole light switch, okay? And over here on the left is what is referred to as a three-way light switch. So like I said, if we look at the front, they look the same. They fit in the same light switch housing. They look absolutely identical from the front, essentially. They work in the same way, they literally make the exact same sound. And just for full disclosure, these light switches are basically the same thing other than the main difference, which is how they operate with regards to the wiring, okay? So just to be absolutely clear. So but from the front, they look the same. There's basically no difference, as you can see. And when they're installed, you're probably not gonna notice a difference between the two at all. But for the person that's installing them, for the electrician that's installing them, there is a significant, significant difference. And if you look on the back, you'll notice. On this one, we have a ground screw, and on this one we have a green ground screw as well, okay? So that's the same for both of them, and it's in the exact same position for both light switches. However, with this one, with the single pole light switch, you can see that there are two terminals right there, and with the three-way light switch, there are one, two, three terminals, obviously aside from the ground terminal. So there are three terminals on the, on the three-way light switch. Now for a single pole light switch, it basically turns the power on and off, okay? You have one of these that uh, takes power from the panel or from wherever the, wherever the power is coming from, and the other one goes to the light. And basically the light switch just completes the circuit when you, when you turn it on, so it allows the power to flow from, uh, let's say, the panel to the, the actual light. When you turn it off, it, uh, you know, disconnects the circuit essentially. So the power is cut off in the middle here. The power flows from the panel to the light switch and it just stays there. It doesn't travel to the light. <clears throat> With this one, it's a bit different because you have to connect it to a light and another light switch. So have you ever seen a light where you can turn it on or off from two different switches or even more than two, diff two, diff two switches? That's where these come into play. So essentially you have one of these that, you know, gets power from the panel, the other one sends power to the light, and then the other one is going to send, send a, a wire to another switch. Now I won't get into uh, technical terms with regards to how they're wired because there's a few different options depending on where you live and your local code. But essentially that extra terminal is to connect with another light switch. And and what it does is it communicates through power with the other light switch as to whether or not the light should be on or off, essentially. Um, so yeah, if you look at how the switches are, you'll notice that um, you know if you turn one on, the light might turn on, but then you can go to the other light switch and maybe the other light switch is in the off position and you turn that one on and then the light turns off if they're connected. So the up or down, with a three-way light switch doesn't make a, a massive, uh, doesn't have a massive impact because there are multiple switches. So each one can control it. However, you can think about it as opposite. So if the light is already on and you flick this one like this, it's gonna turn off, okay? Let's say the light was already off and you flick it like this, it's gonna turn it back on. So regardless of whether it's sort of flipped up or flipped down, it's gonna do the opposite of what the light already has done. So that's essentially the difference between these two switches. One of them just, you know, turns the power on or off to the light, and then the other one is going to essentially turn the power on or off, but also communicate with another switch to control that light, or multiple other switches. But that's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.